problem. The beam carries an UDL of 20 km per meter over the entire span of 6 meter. Beam has circular section of diameter 150 mm. Determine the maximum shear stress at section 2 meter from the support. First of all, write down the given data. So UDL load it is given 20 km per meter. 20 km per meter. Okay. And span it is given. Span of this beam it is given. 6 meter. 6 meter. And diameter of this circular section it is given 150 mm. 150 mm. Determine the maximum shear stress at section 2 meter from support. From support. Okay. So let us assume. Let us assume. Let us assume. Beam as simply supported. Beam as simply supported. Beam as simply supported. Beam. Simply supported. Beam. Simply supported. Beam. Just as assume beam as a simply supported. Beam. Okay. So for that, beam it is simply supported. This unit is simply supported beam at ends is supported. At end it is supported. Just okay. assume this one it is A point and this one it is B point. Okay. So UDL load it is acted on that beam. UDL load. UDL load. Uniformly distributed load. So this load it is 20 kN per meter. So load it is 20 kN per meter. 20 kN per meter. Okay. And span of this beam it is 6 meter. Span of this beam it is given 6 meter. Okay. 6 meter. 6 meter. Okay. So first of all, Calculate shear force, shear force at section, at section, section two meter from support, two meter from, two meter from support, two meter from support. Okay, just we need to calculate shear force at this section. This one it is 2 meter from support. Just assume this one it is section. Okay. So this distance it is 2 meter from this support. Okay. So this distance it is 2 meter. 2 meter from support A. Okay. 2 meter from support A. So first of all calculate reaction at A. So RA is equal to reaction at A. RA is equal to this WL by 2. So for that when uniformly distributed load acted on simply supported beam, so reaction it will be WL by 2. Reaction will be WL by 2. WL by 2. WL by 2. So W it is W it is 20 and span it is 6 meter. Span it is 6 meter. Divided by two. Divided by two. So reaction it will be get R A is equal to. So from this reaction, twenty into six divided by two, sixty kilonewton. Sixty kilonewton. Sixty kilonewton. Okay. Then shear force. Shear force. At section. 2 meter from support, from support, from support is equal to, is equal to, so this one it is WL by 2, WL by 2, WL by 2, WL by 2. Minus, minus, minus W into that is UDL load. It is twenty into twenty into two. So WL by two it will be 
60 minus 20 into 2, it will be 40. So it will be 20 kilo, 20 kilo newtons. Okay. So this A to this section, it is A to this section, it is 2 meters span. So that's why 20 into 2. Okay. So UDL load, UDL intensity load, it is 20, 20 kilo newton per meter. So 20 into 2 it will be minus. Okay. This UDL load it is acted downward. So our reaction it is going upward. So SF at left of this section. So that is RA minus W into 2. That is WL by 2 into minus 20 into 2. It will get 20 kilo newton. So S is equal to this 20 kilo newton. S is equal to this 20 kilo newton. That is converted it is in kilo newton to newton. 20 into 10 is 40 newton. Okay. Next calculate cross sectional area. The section it is actually circular section. Yes, no, so it is circular section. Its diameter it is 15. D it is 15. D is equal to sorry 150 m. D is equal to the 150 m. So calculate area it is. Area is equal to pi. Formula for circular section pi into d square pi into d square divided by two pi into d square divided by four is equal to pi pi into 150 square, 150 square, you have a four, you have a four, you have a four. So tell me how much? If pi into 150 square divided by four, so tell me. 17.671, 17.671, 1 into 10 raised to the power 3 mm square, mm square, mm square, okay. mm square. So next calculate, I will write here. Right so Q average, we need to calculate Q average. Q average is equal to S by A. S divided by A. Constitutional area. So yes, it is shear force at support 2 meter from the support. It is 20 into 10 to the power 3. 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area it is. Constitutional area of this circular section that is 17.671 into 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3. So from this Q average, it will be Q average is equal to 20 divided by 20 into 10 to the power divided by 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 17.671 into 10 to the power 3. It will get 1.131, 1.131 newton per mm square or mp, newton per mm square or mp, newton per mm square. So now I know Q max is equal to Q max is equal to so this one is formula Q max is equal to 4 by 3. Four by three Q average Q average Q average all this value you so get maximum shift. So four by three four by three in Q average one point. 
one three one on this relation it again. So max is equal to four by three into one point one three one. So you get one point five zero. One point five zero nine Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square or MT. This one it is maximum shear stress. Maximum shear stress for circular section. Okay. So question was determine the shear stress at section two meter from support. So maximum shear stress. At two meter pump support it is 1.509 newton per mm square. This is your analysis. Okay. 